All right, on our Dodge here, you obviously know that if you need to get your wheel bearing or your hub or your U-joint, like what we're gonna do, you have to take your tire off. You have to jack it up, support it, and then take off your cap, your hub cap, take off the two 18 millimeter bolts on the top and the bottom of the brake caliper, and you can take that, slide that off, lay that off to the side. It's a good idea to Put a zip tie on that. Gary, go get me a zip tie. You're gonna take your 7 8 nuts off, slow and steady with a wrench. Not rocket science, that's a press fit over top of the hub. So just lightly tap it. It's three quarter inch thick, you won't damage it. Now you'll see a cotter pin here. You're gonna pull that out. So it's inch and a three quarter socket. Might need to get yourself one of these three quarter inch impacts. Because they work incredible. Now you can take your rotor off, tap that on the face here. Kind of want to avoid hitting it on the face. Like, and I mean that right here, as you don't want to damage that. Your wheel hub assembly is held on by four 18 millimeter bolts. Now you want to crack those loose and take them out. And then there's a little trick. You got to know it, save you hours of work. It's worth watching this whole video for. Here we go. So basically there's a shoulder on these bolts and you can just leave your socket on there with uh, seven inches of extension and then just push it up against it, fire up the truck, turn the power steering, use, use your power steering to turn it to the left, and it'll push this hub assembly right out. So don't work harder, work smarter, see? Mm -hmm. Or work harder and smarter and you can make a pile of money. So this one actually came out fairly easy. Um, might have been done a little while ago. Regardless, we need to get at the U-joint. So take your ABS sensor out and then uh, you're able to, if, if your splines don't come out, just put the nut back on, just tap it on there. Um, on the face of this, if you see how rusty this is, uh, make sure to take a wire wheel and just clean that up. The rust um, gives you a false reading on your impact gun. We have a video on how to change a U-joint if you need to do that. If it's replacing a wheel bearing and um, or your hub assembly, it's as simple as swapping out the hub assembly and putting everything back tight again. Um, grease everything that needs to be greased when you're under here. Um, if it has greasable ball joints or tie rod ends, I guess not. And uh, retorque your tires. It's that easy. Have fun, stay safe, stay filthy, subscribe. Good little tricks and tips <laughs> like this all over the channel to help you guys uh, fix your own stuff quicker and faster and stay rich. Here we go.